welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Lauren and I put out videos about home, decor, cleaning, and lifestyle. So make sure you subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Now, I have been putting off today's video for a really long time. I was just dreading it. I felt like it would take so long and not even look that good. But oh my gosh, you guys, I love, I love how it turned out. I think it looks so, so good. I cannot wait to show you guys the process as well as the after. So make sure you stay tuned until the end and let's just get on into it. Okay, so this is the before. This is what we're working with. It's bad. I will not deny it is very bad. Everything is just shoved in spots. I don't even know what's in here anymore. Some of this stuff I'm sure is expired. It's bad. <laughs> So I wanted to show you what I got from Dollar Tree. So first thing I got was a dry erase board. I'm thinking that we can have like an ongoing grocery list on the inside of the pantry. I got some super pretty shelf liners, labels, chip clips, tons of storage bins. I even got some lights for like on the inside of the wall because we don't have a light in the pantry and it is always so dark. I kind of went all out because everything was so cheap. It was only a dollar. And also, I bought everything through a site called Top Cash Back. So I actually earned 4% back just for shopping through them. So if you guys don't know what Top Cash Back is, basically what it is is it is a website where you earn cash back on purchases that you were already gonna make. So they have over 4,000 retailers. They even have like airlines, cruises, hotels. They have stores like Walmart, Amazon, Target, even Hobby Lobby. <laughs> you guys know I love my Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby, Kirkland's, I mean, I spend so much money at Hobby Lobby and Kirkland's that it is so nice to know that I can start earning cash back for my purchases. So with Top Cash Back, there's no minimum for payout. It's so easy to use. All I did was I typed in Dollar Tree in the search bar and then it brought it up and showed me that I would earn 4% cash back for shopping through them. And then I just hit get cash back now. And you guys, look, it just took me straight to Dollar Tree's website. So I was kind of thinking it would be more complicated than that. I thought that maybe I would have to shop on some like funky website or I don't know, but it took me straight to Dollar Tree's website. It was so easy to use. And then I just went straight to the storage and organization um, section and picked out everything I needed for my video. If you guys are looking to organize your pantries, you need to go shop at Top Cash Back under Dollar Tree. I'm telling you, Dollar Tree has everything you need. And I'm gonna have a link for Top Cash Back in my description. If you guys want to sign up, you will get a $10 sign up bonus when you spend $25. So basically you'll get $10 for spending $25 on whatever you are already gonna buy anyways. I will have them linked in my description. Thank you so much to Top Cashback for sponsoring this video and sending me everything I needed to get my pantry organized. Okay, so now it is time to take everything out of the pantry. This was definitely my least favorite part. William was sleeping too, so I felt like I was trying to do everything so delicately because I didn't want to wake him up because his room is pretty close to the pantry. So I felt like I was picking everything up so lightly and so carefully. Thankfully you can't tell because I have this all sped up. And there was so much food. I kept saying that we had no food in the house, but obviously it was just all shoved in my pantry. If I could go back and make things right, I would have it and done no I hurt you. Yeah, I was blind, the blame is mine. Yeah, I feel the weight on my shoulders. Know that I regret it. Hope I can repay you for what I've done. And now I'm going through and just kind of putting everything that I want 
to go through later into a trash bag. So I got a clean trash bag and we do recycle in our house. So I was going through and kind of throwing everything that I wanted to get off the counter into there. And then afterwards I went through and like took the food out of the cardboard and put the cardboard in the recycling and so on. And now I'm just trying to figure out what bins I want to use for what. So this container, it kind of looks like a kitty litter box or I don't even know what else it would be, but it was perfect for cereal boxes. And this little container is for office stuff. It was actually like in the office supply section and I thought that worked perfectly for setting up spaghetti. And I loved these little baskets. I'm just trying to figure out kind of how I want everything separated. I felt like there was so much food, but I really ended up coming up with a good system that I liked. I had snacks in one. This one was kind of like the instant stuff, like instant rice, instant mashed potatoes. In this one, I put like all my pastas, um, like noodles, edamame noodles, uh, penne pasta, all of that. And then this one was kind of breakfast foods. So oatmeal, um, what is that stuff you put on your yogurt? Granola, <laughs> all of that. And then in this bin was more breakfast items. So oatmeal, pancakes, stuff like that. And I absolutely loved these labels that I got. I'm so glad I got them. They were like a last minute thing that I added to my cart. And I also picked up permanent markers because we didn't have any of those. And I'm just labeling everything so that I can make sure that I keep this pantry clean because I am the queen of setting up like an organization system and making something look so perfect and then two days later having it be trashed again and not keeping up with it. So I felt like the labels kind of made it so I have to keep everything in its right spot. My kitchen was so trashed during this whole process. It was a little overwhelming. I'm so glad that I ended up doing this though. It did not take as long as I thought it would. And now I'm putting all of the containers back in, but as you'll see in a little bit, I end up actually rearranging them a little bit better. I didn't like how they looked at first. These glass containers are actually from Target. They're $5 each and I already had them, so I thought they would be perfect for the pantry. Oh my gosh. It's my table spoon I've been looking for forever. <laughs> I've been looking for this forever within my flower thing. And I am just putting in sugar, brown sugar and flour. And you guys, I feel like this, putting these in the pantry really like stepped up how it looked. So as you'll see in a second, I used all Dollar Tree items for all the organizing and all of the food items and whatever. And then I just took a few items that I already had around my home that I wasn't really using, like this kitchen sign I bought when we first moved in for $5 from Hobby Lobby and I had never used it before. Same thing with these um, little bins, as well as this wreath. And now I feel like just adding a few of these items that are, you know, a little more high-end looking, it really made the whole pantry come together and it didn't make it look cheap or anything like that. So that's my tip for you guys. If you're kind of worried about using Dollar Tree things, you're scared that the space will look cheap or whatever, I think use as much Dollar Tree as you can and then just add a few items that you already have or maybe a couple more expensive things and it will really tie it all together. Now I found this Target rug at Target in the clearance section for $7. So it was such a steal and I really think it like brought it all together. I added some greenery that I already had in my house and I'm just loving how it looks. I'm so proud of it. So here is the final reveal. Oh, I am in love. I love how it looks. I love how the pin, how the bins look with the labels. I think that the 
tan labels tie in perfectly with like the wood kitchen sign and then the greenery just really brings it all to life and it was so cheap and it looks a hundred times better So I just love that this whole pantry was Dollar Tree items with just a couple items that I got on sale for not very much money at all and I feel like it looks like a totally different pantry. It is so pretty. I am so, so proud of it. Ah, I hope you guys love it as much as I do. So that is it for today's video, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed and that you love it as much as I do. I just think it turned out so good and for so cheap. Everything pretty much was from the Dollar Tree for $1. Plus I got that 4% cash back from Top Cash Back. And anything else I used I already had and they were so, so cheap. So hopefully this video can show you that you can make a huge transformation in your home using cheap items from the Dollar Tree or items around the house that you already have. And I hope that this inspired you. If you end up cleaning out your pantry, definitely like maybe post a picture or send me a picture on Instagram. My Instagram is at lauren.midgley and make sure you guys check out Top Cash Back. I will have them linked in the description. I know you guys will love them. And remember that right now you will get $10 back for your first $25 spent, which is huge because if you're gonna go buy something online anyways, you might as well do it through Top Cash Back and spend that $25 and get $10 back. So like I said, I will have them linked in my description. You guys can press right here to get over to my channel or click right here to watch my last video, which was a Dollar Tree Easter and Spring Shop With Me. They had so much cute stuff. Their spring like decor section was insane. So make sure you check out this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.